All right, I was trying to figure out what I want to do. I could either do normal. I, I, by the way, already did the tutorial. Don't need it. Although there's probably some detailed stuff. Another interesting thing about this game. I don't know if this works, but... Uh, if I, it entered, apparently, like, it's pulling people from Twitch from this... I don't know if you guys are going to be in the game or something. I don't know. So there's 4,051 people in the chat. Maybe it's going to be... I don't know. I, I, I have no idea how this works. 4K Andy. Omega lol. <laughs> what the... What? what? 4K Andy? That's a shitload of people. What do you mean 4K Andy? <laughs> it's a lot of people. There's tons of people. Oh, there's, oh, there's only 35,000 people watching. Oh, football stadium, Andy. Is that what you guys say to, like, the top streamers on Twitch? Oh, concert Andy. Only, like, 100,000 people here. Concert Andy. So this is what we got to start with. Pretty tiny. This is our builder. Are they in Twitch chat? They are. D Double Zero Trash Man. Welcome. I don't know who the fuck you are, but you're, like, the first person. Therefore, you're the most important person. Apparently, you're 28. Is that real? Is that pulling? That person's not here. <laughs> Hold on, this is not a person? They left the stream? Oh man, it's too bad. It's too bad they took that 4K Andy joke to heart. They vape? Wait, that they, they actually you they vape and they they can't and they incontinent. Wait, what? Why are these here? Can't resist e-cigarettes and bladder can't go below 50. Can't resist diapers. <laughs> okay, build it. <laughs> Refresh. Oh, seven K Andy. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Sorry, bumping into people. Seven K Andy coming through. Do we have enough parking? Doesn't leave. I always I hate this shit. How many times have you guys were pulled into a store and they have like three parking spots, and they're all taken up? It's like okay, guess I'll drive around in a fucking circle until I can park my car. Yeah, no, that's bullshit. I'm not doing that here. Bang, bang, bang. I'm not going to be one of those people that has that, but they have to walk across the road. <laughs> that kind of dangerous? <laughs> Fuck! I'm just trying to get diapers! New businesses people want. A grocery store. Open a store with 50% of food to create a grocery store. Open a store with drugs to create a pharmacy. Well, that's what this is supposed to be. What is this? This is just like a... This is a gas station. <laughs> Action figures, sports balls, tampons, diapers, and toilet paper. This is just a toilet paper store. <laughs> That's so bad. It's a huge bathroom. Yeah, you go in here, you use the toilets, and then you buy the toilet paper right here on the diapers and stuff. It's just a big... Yeah, that's okay. I'll just rename it. The big bathroom. How about that? Toilet store. No, that's that's like a Steve Carell joke. All right, do you uh, do you guys see? Do you guys see like a like a chimpanzee with his arm up, being like, "Hey, like like, do you see that? He's doing kind of like a look at me." Three legs. <laughs> okay, well let's not focus on that. Oh boy, look at this. They heard about the big sale. Uh oh. Oh no, these are just workers. I have to pay these people. No, I thought those were I thought those were people coming in the big bathroom. Alright, get to work. Do I have to have a storage room? For each store? Because these are all gonna be like little shops. No, this is a bathroom. <laughs> the, this is the bigger bathroom. <laughs> no. Okay, the big bathroom, the bigger bathroom, and then the mall. Don't give me stupid ideas like that. And then the biggest bathroom. <laughs> oh, fuck. Just have the back whole third be storage. Alright, that's probably a better idea. Bigger than the biggest bathroom. The bankrupt bathroom. <laughs> I need money, dude. I need to sell shit. Storage 5, storage 6, and storage 7 for the stores that are going to be here. 
because it has to be different storage for different stores. It's uneven. Oh, no. <laughs> Your CVS is not going to cover the wage expenses of all this. <laughs> this is the money maker. <laughs> yeah, my my thirty dollars in net profit from the diaper CVS store is not going to cover the expenses. This is just shitty business management and business development 101. Oh, we turned a profit slightly for one week. Expand, and then expand again. I'm not really getting very many customers anymore. Oh, this is not good. Maybe it's because it's only tampons, diapers, and toilet paper. Maybe it's because there's no other product. And now we're closed. <laughs> I'm trying to make this huge-ass grocery store mall. All right, wait, 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 wait. I can fix this. The o <laughs> Fuck. The office is bigger than the store. Just relax. Everybody, you tell me to relax, you guys relax. Just relax. 2700, 2400. I gotta start firing people. I'm burning money. Oh my god, I have $400. What happens if you lose? What happens if you don't have any money left? Do you, get, do you, go, do you go to jail? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. This is attempt number one. I didn't get it at first. Negative 1700 bucks. What is costing so much money? Okay, I can I can fix it. I can fix it. I can fix it. Now let's just we need to have shelves. Food shelf. Food shelf. Oh, I lose. <coughs> hey. Look at this. Saved. Not night hours, we're doing cold chain. Fresh fruits, fresh vegetables. And this is gonna be a vegetable and fruit store. This is gonna be a this is gonna be a farmer's market. It's not gonna be a bathroom store. Farmer's market. Cheated only the game. I didn't how did I cheat? Did I re, I look I lost okay, I lost all my money. And somebody bulldozed the bigger bathroom, and then somebody else came in and took it over. And they said, Well, this is fucking stupid. Why did you only have toilet paper? You're an idiot. Farmer's market. We're gonna turn it into a farmer's market, I say. Jeremy, I'm a regional manager for Walmart, and I really have to say to you is you're making a mockery of this business. Your store is a disaster and a liability. Someone's going to fall and crack this skull on the floor because you can't keep your shit clean. I've never seen a more poorly run store than this. I'd expect more from a short Bostonian streamer than what does short Bostonian have to do with anything? I could be a tall, giant Norwegian, and I could still run a business bad if I was a short Bostonian guy. What are you talking about? Research, hurry! So I can actually make money. Finish it! No! <laughs> Here's my fries. Hey, you know what I was thinking? You know how they're doing, you know, they have the Travis Scott meal. They have the, uh, oh, there's a new one now too, right? What's the new one? Jay, what, there's, a, there's a new McDonald's, uh, like, celebrity meal. And I'm like, okay, they're actually, this, this, this is becoming a thing now. They're doing this. And I thought about, like, what would my meal be? It's like, oh, yeah, it's a, my meal is a Big Mac and an Oreo McFlurry. Right. But when I go to McDonald's, I order, like, eight things off the menu. I I'm disgusting. I don't order one thing. So it's not like, oh, hey, the, the German on A5. It's a McChicken meal with a Coke. No, no, it's a number one, uh, two McChickens. A 10-piece nugget and a McDouble. Like, and I eat it till my stomach hurts. How do you? How would they do that? Do you, do you order just one thing on the menu? You guys, don't, am I crazy? Do, uh, so when you guys go to McDonald's and you get like the number one with fries and a Coke, that's it. That's what you eat. You don't get like two other McChickens on top of that. <laughs> hey, it's me, German985. Here's my meal. I get a number one. Hold the pickles. Okay. And a Powerade. Cool. <laughs> Hold on a second, though. Two McChickens with extra mayo on them. Yeah, getting a little weird here. And my 10-piece nuggets in sweet and sour sauce. Don't forget the apple pie. ba da ba ba, -ba. Your fucking stomach's gonna hurt. Holy shit, here's another thing that I, I, I didn't even know this either. Listen to this. 
Did you? I'm, I might be just new to this, and maybe I didn't even care to think about it. I don't know why. Any size drink at McDonald's is a dollar. A large, like 24, 30 ounce fucking drink at McDonald's is a dollar. It's one dollar. If you get a Powerade, listen to me. If you get a Powerade at McDonald's, that's like 24 ounces and it's a dollar. If you go to the gas station right next to McDonald's, a 32 ounce Powerade is like three bucks. Stop with the ad. Th this is not an ad. This is just real life. It's a dollar for any, any drink at McDonald's. I love this place. You guys know that. How is this an ad? This is my life. Make sure you get the German 985 next time. That's what the ad says. This not a, uh, no, why would anybody ever sponsor this stream? You have to, you watch 10 minutes of the stream and you'll leave. If you are like a, in a business, like a corporate business, and, and you are like, oh, this, oh this, this guy's a 9K Andy. Let's see what he's doing. Nope. Don't like it. Yeah, show, show me the rest of the of the of the 8K Andes that are on Twitch right now. Bankruptcy incoming. No, 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 I, you know what really would fucking piss me off more than anything whenever I'd go to the grocery store? Is you would just walk down an aisle somewhere and there would just be a shattered salsa glass and salsa all over the ground. Did that happen to you guys at the grocery store ever? Like somebody would literally just drop and shatter a, like a, a, a glass salsa. Like, come on. And nobody can go down that aisle. If you want salsa, like, you, I, what, are you going to walk around it? What if you step in it? You're living in a 2007 comedy movie. <laughs> Ban that guy for literally a year. I don't want to see their name again for a full year. What's wrong with the town you grew up in? First, the the violating snowmen with their noses displaced. Now, grocery store aisles that are a mess. I don't think that's so out of the ordinary to have like a... Okay, hold on. So, a snowman with the, the carrot for like his dick. And having like broken salsa bottles in sometimes in the grocery store. I feel like that's like not that big of a deal. That's what that's not like bad. I can't believe you grew up there. Somebody put a, a, a carrot on a snowman's dick. Oh, not in my neighborhood. Come on in. Let's go shopping everybody. Oh, oh of course the dairy section the yogurt. We have the finest yogurt. We've got cannibals back there. Have you ever actually been to a grocery store? No. No, never. I, I call someone. And say, hey, um, can you get me, uh, two packs of T Totino's pizza rolls? Uh, three cans of corned beef hash. Two gallons of milk. Two full onions. And eight pounds of hamburger meat. Thanks. Jeff Bezos streamer. Jeff Bezos. Well, Jeff Bezos didn't have like a frozen food vegetable grocery store service. I mean, he does. He does now. But he didn't. That's not how he started. He started selling like books. He had a bookstore online. How the fuck did that happen? Can we go over that real quick? How did I? I have a a bookstore turn into I own the entire fucking globe. All shipping. All services and all products. You guys ever feel like it was a scenario where he was selling books and like somebody just said, hey, uh, what if you delivered something else that wasn't books? Like pens. What are you talking about, Dave? Yeah, what if instead of books, what if you did uh, like pens and pencils and paper clips and stuff? Like office supplies. Dave, that's fucking stupid. Get the fuck out of my garage or wherever I started this business. And then, like, one day, Jeff Bezos was sitting there, he's like, you know, God damn it, man, I, got, I don't have a pen on me. Where am I going to get, like, a stack of bunch of pens? Am I going to go to the office store? Wait, oh. People are getting worried, man. Wait, back to school. Hold on a second here. School supplies, pens, t-shirts, and <laughs> laptop computers. I, this is Jeff Bezos' way. I got to get pens. I got to get pens and paper and school supplies and pencils. All right, we're going to move the, I'm going to make a pens, papers, papers, school supplies, office building over here. 
I got $150,000. Oh! <laughs> I'm doing like the gym carry. Uh, sorry. Small is too small. Yeah, we talked about Amazon. The Amazon was a computer in a garage. You have to start small. You can't just... You know what? I'm going to make a ball today and it's going to have 400 stores and I'm going to own all property. That's false. That's a lie. Wait, is that just like a... Is that like propaganda? Is that like straight up like, you know, he started with a computer in his garage with just him and his, his, his swollen, like just charcoal covered, like dirt hands. That didn't happen. His parents were rich. Whatever. He still had his, he still used his bare hands to like build the computer and then he built the warehouses with his hands. He used his bare hands to use to do Amazon. This is propaganda. It's not pro- Wow, well, this is propaganda. This is called I'm a miss- I'm not informed correctly. This guy's a bootlicker. What? Hold on, let me just pop this huge zit that's on my grocery store. Hold on a minute. He's- Oh, he's a communist. <laughs> shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up! He's shilling for Amazon Prime. No, if I was shilling for Amazon Prime, I'd say, Hey guys! You know, there's a, there's a button underneath the, with your, your computer there, and on the window, if you click it, you'll get, you'll, 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 you'll have the Amazon Prime, all of us do. Go ahead and you, you use that on, you know, you don't have to use it on me, but use it on me if you can. But if you don't use it on somebody, use your Amazon Prime on me, not on me, but on somebody else, on me though. I'm gonna click the link. What the hell are you guys doing now? What is it? Okay, that's, I mean, this is like what I order. This is accurate. This is the German 985. This is my, this is my nuggets. Yep. This is my fry. My two McChickens, Big Mac and two McDoubles. You got that on there? Um, excuse me. This is not accurate. This is not correct. This is completely wrong. Whoever made this. First of all, I said Powerade, not gross, two gross Cokes. This is two, two McChickens, Big Mac meal, six nuggets. Where's my sweet and sour sauce? And the two McDoubles are there just in case I'm not done. Oh, can I get really pissed off at McDonald's for a second? I, this is actual anger. True anger. They got rid of the regular McChicken. They just have spicy McChicken now. What is that bullshit? It's just spicy McChickens. And the spicy chicken shit at fast food restaurants is gross. Go ahead and you can go ahead and at me, right? I like the like the people say like people say like the kids say these days. It's all the spicy chicken sandwiches at all these fast food restaurants. It's just like kind of hurts the back of your nose. It's just like a back of your nose like weird spice flavor. It's just like powdered spicy. You know what I mean? It's it's a powder. It definitely feels like granular, uh, spicy powder. Where's my regular McChicken? I like spicy shit, but I don't like the powder spice. It's like a dusting that they put on it. And they made it's orange. True, but the regular one sucks. What? Eat a McDick. <laughs> like you were saying, like, eat a... What the fuck? <laughs> What, like, that's, oh my god. <laughs> oh, I'm wrong. Okay, why did you read that? I, guys, the chat, there's like almost 10,000 people here. Well, I look over and I read something. You know how hard it is to read this shit? Sometimes it's just the first thing that happens. I just see it. He's 10k Andy, that's fine. I can pull out stuff pretty well, but sometimes it's e eat a Mick Dick. I'm sorry, I try. <laughs> This is like just creepy. <laughs> Imagine looking up and seeing that. Would you still shop here? Alright, what if the prices were really low? 
Like, we're talking $1 for a large soda at McDonald's low. If everything was, like, 80% off, but sometimes that guy would just reach in and, like, pick up somebody and just go, like, just drop them and swallow them. He did it, like, once an hour. Would you, if the, if the, would you still shop there? Okay, so let's say this. Let's say a thousand people go in there in an hour. That's a one out of a thousand chance it's going to be you. And, like, I, I didn't say you couldn't, like, run around and, like, grab, like, something and, like, throw it at him and try to get away and, like, dodge behind stuff. You can do that. He might not get you. He might just be like, and just go for the person over there. Still no. We're talking 80% we're talking off everything in the whole store. I'd wait outside until I saw somebody get grabbed and then I'd go in. Okay, so that's, that's not a bad strategy. What if you pull up there and you don't know when the last time you did it was? Like, what if you pulled up there and he's sitting there just looking down? How can you tell? How do you know when he did it? You would just wait an hour. So you would sit there for a full hour. And then when you saw him grab someone, then you would go in. So it's worth waiting a full hour in the parking lot. <laughs> just sit there and listen to talk radio. Now, with the parking lot, is you can't sit in there for more than an hour. Every one of the parking spaces has like a meter on it. And when you like pull in, it's like Bing! It's like a 20 minute meter goes starts to counting down. If you don't get the hell out of there, you gotta pull out within 20 minutes. Or his eyes just Bing! go right over to your car. And he just puts his hand up and he like the Hulk grabs you and like just <laughs> throws you into the atmosphere. Just park somewhere else and walk. <laughs> Park, okay, so if you park here, you park like over here and like camp out overnight and just with binoculars And then just wait and see when he does it and then like what what but it's gonna t what if it takes you It's gonna take you like 40 30 40 minutes to walk this far By the time you get here you have probably like 20 minutes to get the fuck out of there. He's never walked in his life He is a, a car pick him up <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guys, like, my, my like, feet are, 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 like, so, like, sensitive and soft because I've never walked. I, I just, like, have somebody pick me up and, like, walk me to, to a car, carry me, and, like, put me in the back seat, and then they drive me somewhere. And then somebody puts me in a carriage, and they push me around the store, and I point at stuff. If I, like, walked two or three steps, it'd be like, ah, ah, yeah, somebody pick me up. Please click the link. Sure. <laughs> It's been, it's been updated. It's been updated. All right, let's see. Why is this guy a jogger? Why are you jogging through the grocery store? This guy didn't even have a cart. He's just here for the exercise. Why is there one, why is there a McDonald's bag in there? And a McDonald's drink. Did you? You didn't. Where'd you get? Them? How'd you do that? Oh, okay. Cool. Your McDonald's handed over. <laughs> this is the worst mall. It's it starts slowly and then you build up your empire. Like I only had two hundred thousand dollars. All right. I had a small. I had a small loan of two hundred thousand dollars. It, it's that it, it's doing it's Donald. Okay, that's how you know the, the stream is really gone off the rails. Wow, Jimmy Kimmel funny <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you got me there you do Wow, that was Jimmy Kimmel level funny <laughs> And guess what I, a quarter of a billion people turned in to Jimmy Kimmel every afternoon when he's live. Okay, so he's doing something right, isn't he? He has more viewers than you. Yeah. Yes, yes. Jimmy Kimmel has more of a larger audience than Germa985. Yes, that is accurate. By probably a few million people. Oh, mega love. He's, he's a nobody. <laughs> you know, in the grand scheme of things, guys, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm not like Jimmy Kimmel. This is a bunch of storefronts. Yeah, you park your car and you can like go into the Verizon store and then you can go into the sub shop and then you can like go into the grocery store, get some stuff and then you can just have, go over here and have a, have like a, a fucking fresh fruit platter. Get a drink to go 
in like a, well, no, not like that. I mean like in a to-go glass, like take one of these and then like bring it home, but you don't even have to, why is the bar even here? If I sell alcohol here, why are you going to go over here to buy alcohol? <laughs> you don't go, hey, I'll pick up a couple bottles of wine. <laughs> Hello, sir, I'll take a bottle of wine to go, please. Here you go. Thank you. Oh, by the way, here's $60. It was 12 over there in the grocery store. This is pretty efficient. Come on. Let's turn that profit. Be funny. Do something funny already. Time that guy out for five minutes. Okay, so if you, if you went up to like a professional athlete that was about to go up to, to hit at the plate, a baseball player, and you said, hey, hit a home run next pitch. They're going to be like, I... I'm going to try. Yeah, you better hit a home run on your next pitch. And then they swing and they miss. Hey! You were supposed to hit a home run on the next pitch, I told you. Man, I hit a home run, like, once every three games, dude. I can't, I can't just do it. I can't just hit a fucking home run when I feel like it. Yeah. Well, guess who uh, Mo Vaughn could... Mo Vaughn hasn't played baseball in like 20 years, man. I said, I'm on the team now. Yeah, I wish it was Mo Vaughn, not you. Okay. Okay, and I swing and I miss again. That's strike two, man. You're in my head. Jimmy Kimmel could. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Like, oh, Jimmy Kimmel's like funnier than you. <laughs> I don't care. Hey, Jimmy Kimball swallowed five eggs on camera last night. Why didn't you do Chubby Bunny to one-up him? You got a low batting average? You know, I've said this before. But you guys understand that if you go up to the to plate in baseball and you strike out seven times in a row, but you hit the ball into play and you get on base three times out of ten, you are one of the best baseball players to ever ever live if you can hit uh, if you can hit get a 300 batting average you're like one of the best players to ever play the game so that means i'm allowed seven wicked shitty jokes as long as i tell three good ones i'm one of the best joke tellers to ever live okay wait wait wait, wait here we go all right coming in to watch a movie what movie are you gonna watch here we go <laughs> Fill up the theater, let's do it. Show me a quarter of the movie. <laughs> Facing the wrong way. This movie's not even on. <laughs> whoa, 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 trash, excuse me. Let's watch the movie again. <laughs> Hold on, they're watching it again? This actually will print money, I think. Well, what's what? Is this person gonna puke? Uh, I need a janitor in here. Oh, okay. If every square pixel is going to have trash on it, I wonder what happens. Does this person puke? Uh, this lady. These people all had groceries. <laughs> you went to the grocery store. You filled bags of groceries and then you went to a movie. And then when the movie was over, you dumped the grocery bag onto the ground. 